you guys. I'm new to this. But um, one thing I was looking on YouTube, there's a lot of, well, YouTube and internet really, there's a lot of um, reviews on skates and I find a lot of people kind of BS a bit. It's all too, this is good, that's good, the best skate out here. I didn't really find them too useful, but whatever, it's their own opinion, they're entitled to it. I'm going to do my own review. I've just got my new skates today. Myself some famous USD carbon twos. My old skates, Aragon ones, customized white calf sole plates. Uh, got my Eulogy team wheels and crack bearings. That's that's actually good. They're quite fast, and smooth. Um, changed the liner. The Aragon one one liner I really didn't like. It teared up real quick wasn't really comfortable got them in a size 9 for the shell I'm a size 9.5 shoe 10 I'm about 9.5 10 uh, could go more maybe 10.5 but I'd say you know 10 but I got these in a the size 9 because the large shell is just massive too big for me actually I had the Chaz Sands in size 10 they were, fan they were good skates they had good flex good support um, I like a lot of flex in my skates. Razors, I'm going to tell you what, they, these are a very all round skate. You can't really go wrong with them, but you can definitely get better. Um, they're a bit heavy and bulky for me. Um, they're, they don't offer a lot of flex for me because I like my skate tight. I like it to be firm on my foot. So I feel like I've got a lot of support, but when you do that with these, I don't feel like I've got a lot of flex. They kind of hurt my feet after a while. i got the Salomon Memo Fit liners for all you who remember them liners. Fantastic. A bit worn down now though. But um, I don't know about other people. I mean, my, my feet, I suffer from uh, blisters in every skate. Almost I've had, yeah. Every skate always tend to get blisters. My feet hurt. There's always pressure points. Um, although I did get these new um, ankle wrap things that, that stopped the blistering but my feet still hurt a bit I've skated Salomon's Shadows, the Dustin Latimer ones um, I've skated a little bit in the TRS, the Morales they weren't nice skates, I hated them they look good though um, and the Chaz Sands and then these. Um, I gotta say, of all the skates, my favourites were the Salomons. Loved them skates so much. They were they were nice. They stopped making those. I, I completely ruined those skates. Skated them till they broke. Lasted me a little while. The sh the shadows actually, they felt amazing on my foot. Uh, just just to stand in them, they felt like a shoe. They were really nice. I liked them, but they. They they gave me blisters, and my, my my feet were hurting in those, but I didn't have the um, ankle wraps for those. They were good though. Love the shadows. Um, Chaz Sands size ten I've got. Bit big, bulky, heavy. Um, but I learned a lot of my tricks in there just because of the added flex, because they were a bit big. And then I got these found I'd lost some of my tricks still all round good skates though I know a lot of people love them they look good that's for sure but I'm tired I wanted a new boot and a new skate so I got a new skate and they arrived today unfortunately the weather in London United Kingdom London is bad today it's raining it was meant to go out on a on a good skate day with a lot of my mates would have been would have been good but unfortunately it's raining I'm hoping to to get out there later if I can possibly get some clips maybe not I want to do a review on them of my own opinion I'm not really happy I'm not really convinced that a lot of opinions of others but anyway new skates USD carbon twos now 
I have originally tried my friends, which were size nine, a little bit small for me. Um, my from heel to toe, they fit. Maybe it, maybe could go half a size, which is why I got these in a ho nine and a half UK size. Yeah, ten and a half in US, forty four in Europe. Um, I must say, in the nines anyway, I felt some pressure points. Never felt like I was going to get blisters. Feet didn't really hurt. The flex is amazing, and the support with it is amazing. It's really weird the feeling of these, right? I don't, actually, I don't want to give a review because they were size nine. I want to skate these, the size nine and a half, and give you my review on these. But I'm impressed with the boot. It's just quality, quality. It slides really fast. The fastest I've ever tried. Um, even faster than the Salomons. And the uh, Razor Colt Streets, I've, I've had a little skate in those. They're good skates, actually. They slide real nice as well. They just, they really hurt my feet. I could not skate more than 20 minutes in those. But these slide real fast. And there's, you're so light. Oh, that's the beauty of these skates. They are so light. You pick these up, and they just weigh you down so bulky. And these, obviously, no frame and wheels, but my mate had them anyway, full set up. They're so light on your feet. When you first put them on, be careful when you're doing your tricks. Jump over the rail, the ledge, whatever. It really feels weird, but real good skates. I can't wait to skate them. Got me some Feather Lights too. Nice, and I've got... I'm going to put my old wheels on there, the, the Eulogy and the Crap Bearings. I did get some... Uh, Proline wheels, which I love, with Bones Reds. I'll put these on. Got to wait for those wheels, and I'll skate them. If you want me to do a little review, I mean, I probably will do it anyway. Skate them a bit. See how they are. Make a video on my review of them. But I just thought I'd give you a briefing. From what I've tried on the size 9s, they were comfy, light, Doing your tricks at first, the first you know few minutes on the skate feel weird, but then I never understood what they meant by what people told me by control on your skates. I never really understood it. When I used to skate, my first skates were Salomon, so I didn't really understand skating. I'm not really a good skater anyway. I think I've skated under two years, just under two years, and I stopped for almost four years and I've come back now been doing it about a month now getting there but I see what they mean now about control when you lock on your tricks not only are they super fast when you lock on your tricks they feel like I'm quoting it was Sean Kelso that said something like uh, it, it feels like you're a part of the trick and that I think I understand what it means you know it feels like you're really doing it with your foot and they feel really good to skate on just like the shadows feel. Some people don't like shadows, but they felt amazing. And it feels, they feel so good on my feet like the Salomons as well when you're skating them. And I, I don't think I've ever found a skate that has felt quite like Salomons and shadows. Although the Salomons, I think, well, I think I preferred the Salomons, but the shadows definitely felt better. But these feel like a sort of in between. It's like feel perfect. If it makes sense. I'm not sure. I might end up trying the the oven molding thing if I suffer from the pressure points, which I think is a high possibility. But definitely, I can see why a lot of people think these are the best skates out at the moment. But yeah, hopefully, I can get some tricks down. Give you a review. My own review. Cut the crap. And give my honest opinion, even if it's negative. Which I don't think they will be with these, but we'll see. But yeah, hopefully I can go skate today. If I can, might try to get some clips. Won't be able to get a lot because of the rain. Or the skate park will be packed out with, well, whatever, whoever's there really, skateboarders. Scooters, I don't know what to call them, scooter boys. 
whatever, skateboarders, scooters. Don't think there'll be bikers there, possibly. Hopefully I'll have rollerbladers, but whatever. I tend to do more skating and forget about filming. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I hope that was a good little view so far. Don't hate on the comments about the razors, yeah? They are good skates, but there's definitely better out there. Depending on personal opinion, I suppose, but for me, definitely not the best skate. But yeah. Anyway, peace YouTube. New edit soon.